Hello, I'm Mandy. This is Luca Red Tarot. The sun at the bottom of the deck. Leo energy. Okay, we're going to get right into y'all's message, whatever it's going to be. So, we just had the full moon in Leo. That could be significant for y'all. Maybe you closed out a cycle with somebody. Dang, it came out again. So, that could be the case for y'all. Let's see. I'm going to use this deck since... I want to. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Actually, I'm going to start getting the book with that one because some of these decks are new and I need to kind of look in the book for them. We'll see. We'll see what comes out. All right. So, the two of coins and judgment. You made a judgment call about something or somebody here. The four cups at the bottom of the deck. Okay, the Queen of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, the Page of Wands. <clears throat> Excuse me, you might uh, get a message from somebody here. Could be a Leo with the Strength card coming out. Ten of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> the star. There's a lot of major arcana coming out here. Okay. As the cards come, I'm, let me get some more out and I'm going to see what this means. This could be about, um, this could be some good news coming in about money. Something might have been, your money might have been hit. Ooh. Wow. The Ten of Cups with the Hermit. Okay. The Ten of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, that is, that's the tower. Wow. Okay. Scorpio, Aries energy. Um, Something has been holding you back, I feel like. Or you've been trying to juggle your career and your home life or something like that. The Nine of Cups, something, is, something good is coming in for you. Big time. The Nine of Cups and Ten of Cups, that's wish fulfillment. Wow. It's like something's been held back from you, okay? Um, Virgo energy here. And it's like somebody wants to... Somebody's made a decision uh, here about you, I feel like. The Chariot. This could have something to do with the vehicle, even. Damn. The Two of Cups. Okay, somebody has really got you heavily on their mind here. <clears throat> or, you know, this could be vice versa. The energy could be reversed, uh, switched up, put it where it's supposed to go for you. The Eight of Pentacles <clears throat> at the bottom of the deck. Somebody might want to work with you here. Dang, this is, this is nice. This is very nice. Okay, the Two of Cups. That's soulmate energy, if I didn't say that already justice coming out um libra energy the five of swords okay but the five of swords didn't come out so let's keep going the three of wands somebody's really seeing something here seeing a vision of something king of cups cancer pisces scorpio at the bottom of the deck somebody is seeing you as their um soulmate here or something like that, okay? This person wants to give you um, equal give and take here. Like, this <laughs> kind of looks like a ladybug. So, this is going to be something like lucky, like lucky girl shit here coming up. I'm talking about the Ace of Swords with the sun. Dang, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Leo energy. This person might feel like um, they missed an opportunity with you or they don't want to miss an opportunity with you. The Magician, Gemini, Virgo energy, the Hangman, Pisces energy, the Eight of Cups. Okay. The Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Um... Let's just keep going here. The Empress. Somebody could be walking away from somebody here. Um, 
you could be walking away from somebody. So we got the King of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So we got a, this is definitely some, it's a match here. Like the King and Queen of Wands, the Lovers, the Two of Cups. Okay. The Queen of Cups with the Two of Swords. Somebody is trying to make a decision here. It looks like between two people, possibly, or maybe the Empress and the Queen of Cups could be the same person even. Um, you could be the Empress or the Queen of Cups, but somebody's trying to make a decision here or the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Um, you could be trying to make a decision about a either a spouse or a mother or father of your child or something like that. Okay, so vote, receiving what you need, progression arriving, moving on, closure. Yeah, somebody's closing out a cycle here, it looks like, with um, somebody. Possibly could be somebody that, you know, you've got kids with or whoever the person you're watching this reading is about is, is about, okay, separation with the Phoenix. You are the rising phoenix. New phase, rekindle, renew transformation. Somebody has changed their mind. You could be in separation with this person. Somebody has changed their mind about this situation. With the justice card coming out, um, let's keep going for it. Say that. Um, I feel like Tarot, you, <laughs> the runner. <laughs> Yeah, it's like you you get the most out of tarot when you learn like about yourself, okay? But seduction, somebody definitely, yeah, somebody's thinking about you here with the separation card, seduction, not enough. Somebody's not enough, frustrated in relationship, lack of confidence, fear, ego issues, jealousy, keys on a ring. Somebody's trying to make a decision here. Hmm. Not today. Clock. Somebody needs time or take your time. Keep your boundaries uh, clear, okay? Spending time with friends. Um, yes time with friends so somebody could be getting single here or could have gotten single and you know wanting to spend time with friends or something like that let's see what else comes out what else great fortune moving on to great fortune in your occupation so that's good okay put in the hard work with whatever this is you're doing Eight, eight. Okay, yeah, that's eight. It's like eight is about your work. Uh, you got something big coming here in your work. Great fortune. It's gonna be very successful. And not only that, um, somebody feels like uh, somebody. It's like somebody feels like you're you're too like it's too late for them or something, okay? Somebody might feel like they're in the doghouse with you here. Um, they definitely are looking for a pathway to you is what I'm getting here with the courtship and the, wow, privileged lady. They wanna make you the privileged lady or they feel like you are the privileged lady. Journey, mature woman. There could be an age difference. There don't have to be. But they feel like you are mature or this person on your mind is mature. They want to put in um, the work on this relationship with you gift. They may give you something. They feel like you are a gift. Okay, let me switch decks again. And I'm gonna get a song for y'all. But I gotta turn it down. 
Dua Lipa. Dua Lipa. I don't give a I-D-G-A-F. Okay. So somebody don't give a F, okay? Page of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. 1010. Okay, somebody is like over it with somebody. Um three of pentacles and the five of wands. Somebody's tired of fighting with somebody. Okay, somebody's tired of fighting with somebody or tired of fighting on some kind of relationship here. Um the moon at the bottom of the deck, Cancer, Pisces, and Uh, the Six of Swords and the Eight of Pentacles, it's like somebody's tired of working on, yeah. This stuff about work and everything, that could be about the fact that somebody's tired of working on something, working on a relationship, it looks like. <clears throat> mm. Okay. And so... You could feel like you're dealing with a kind of somebody who's very codependent here with the devil and the eight of swords. Like, uh, you could be in a marriage you're not happy in, okay? It's Taurus energy here, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. My ears are in. Damn. You want to make a choice here. You made a choice or you're going to make a choice. Somebody's making a choice here. Somebody is not making them happy anymore. The sun card in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. Like, there's no... And then the ace of swords in reverse. Somebody's not... Uh, somebody's wanting to start, like, a new... Here, with the fool at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy. But, um... Something is no longer making someone happy, it looks like. Somebody really feels like the whole situation is slowing them down. Somebody doesn't want to end a cycle here. And it looks like it's really messing their money up here. The nine of coins and the ten of coins in reverse. They could have kids with this person or you could. The ten of wands is upright. That's about the only one that was upright. Um... As in, uh, it's time to drop this heavy burden. This, it's a relationship here, um, that needs to be moved on from. Definitely, this is just a burden on you or whoever you're watching this reading about. So, I hope that helps. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shuffle and do another reading, and y'all can check that one out. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.